Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield alongside me for the last time as Warsaw uh, Correspondent at the that. Express and Star. I wasn't ready for that. Weren't ready for it. It's hit him no. emotionally. Mr. Joe Massey. I'll tell you what, Joe. The script was set. Your final game in, ch in, in covering Warsaw. He's in charge. I was going to say in charge. <laughs> Definitely not in charge. Daryl Clark wouldn't have enjoyed that. Uh, final game covering Warsaw. Long three hour drive. You know, we haven't seen a whole lot of Warsaw, you know, winning games this season. It was set to be a barnstormer. I'll tell you what, we got the exact opposite, didn't we? Uh, yeah, it was absolute. Uh, it was dreadful, wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> just suppose Daryl Clark, who actually, I mean, he said it himself. He said it. He said he was bored. As he's the manager of this football club, the manager of that team, and even he admitted there was times in this game when he was bored. It was a real, real weird, weird game. This stadium doesn't help, I don't think. Um, Quiet. It is very, very, very strange. You mentioned, I think, during the game that because it's got, it's got basically like three empty stands, pretty much. There's not a lot of fans in here, and because it's not closed up, the noise goes out. Mm. It just goes out, doesn't it? it? Doesn't stay in the ground. So I'm, I can't remember being at a League One, League Two game where it was so flat, so subdued. I really, really don't think that helped. Um, and then on the pitch, it was just two teams who completely cancelled each other out. Colchester were the brighter of the two teams. If anyone was going to score, it was going to be them, you'd have to say. They were the more likely to score. That Liam Roberts has made a couple of good saves from distance, but they're those where when he makes them, they look good saves, but if he let them in, it would have been like, a, it would have been, yeah. Just, they're for the cameras, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, full of cameras. they're full of cameras, full of cameras. Walsall have created very, very little. Um, Gary Liddell's had an effort from 20 yards, which Dean Gherkin saved. Mm -hmm. Adebayo has had an over a kick, um, sort of, but that's straight at the keeper. Uh, I mean, there was absolutely nothing really to get you off, off the edge of your seat. And if anyone woke up this morning and thought, shall I go, shan't I go, and they didn't come, they absolutely made the right decision because it was as drab as it gets, wasn't it? I mean, it really was a boring, boring game of football. Yeah, it's so, it's so hard. It was, we were, we it's really, it needs to be uplifted and entertaining because that was so bad. It was, it was, it was really dull. It was, it was very dull. Um, it did raise the issue, of course, which a lot of fans who I spoke to after the game pointed out. There's just no creativity, really. Nothing linking the midfielders and the attackers, and it's something that Daryl Clark needs to fix. Yeah, um, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's the obvious question, isn't it? When we see him afterwards, um, I mean, he's been asked so many times. Like, it's been a long, it's, it's been the issue for the season. There's no two ways about it. Like, mm. there's only, only been one win, the opening day at Northampton, and that day, really, it was another it was another game where it was real tight, and it was a Walsall won one nil thanks to mm. a set piece. So, what Clark has said post match is is interesting. He says in training they are they are completely different. He said they're so much more forward thinking. Mm -hmm. He was really frustrated today with the amount of passes that have gone backwards, the amount of passes that have gone sideways. He actually p praised Rory Gaffney and Keelan Lavery up front. He said yeah. their movement was very very good. He praised those two. He said they absolutely worked their socks off. The issue was getting the ball to them. Mm -hmm. um, simply didn't create anything for them, and um, that's what Clark touched on there. So. Look, everyone can see the issues, Every, everyone can see it. They've, they've, I don't know if it's a belief issue, have they just got to be a bit braver, just believe in themselves more, try to be a bit more adventurous on the ball. Yeah. Um, but it's got to come from somewhere because at the moment, they, they, it's not that they're not scoring, they're not even creating chances at the minute. Mm. Um, and that is the big, big worry, they're not missing chances, they're not even creating them. So something's got to change because they do look defensively solid, but this, as it stands, the goals just are not there. And not helped either by the fact that they've picked up two injuries today. Adebayo, who fittingly for the game played through whilst offside, hitting the post and didn't score. Yeah. Uh, he's hurt himself, looked pretty bad. And then Cameron Pring. Yeah, both came off of ankle injuries. Um, uh, Clark said, it's, the, it's the interesting on the Pring because he, he, he's got so much about him. Like He's got that burst of pace, he darts forward down that left hand side. He looks like he, he could be a real, real attacking out there. Um, I think we also do need more from these wing backs. They're playing the wing backs, and when you're playing 3 5 2 wing backs, they're so important, aren't they? The wing backs. They've got, obviously, they've got to put in a massive shift, but they've got to put more balls into the box. So they are that outlet out wide. They yeah. are your attacking threat out wide. So I think from both on both sides, really, more needs to come from Cameron Norman and Cameron Pring. Delivery needs to be better in particular, more, more sort of surgeon runs into the box. And Adebayo, yeah. 
I mean, like, I mean, he sums up Walsall really completely. I mean, it, outside, around, in and around the box, it just like, he, he, he looks so lively. And there's so much about him, but when it gets to those key moments, he, he, he isn't sort of, he isn't finding those goals at the minute. But yeah, he came off at the end. He took a whack, like I say, when he went through and hit the post, but offside anyway, yeah. um, which summed up the game. But yeah, two ankle injuries. Clark Sala sussed them over the next couple of days. But you, would, they, I mean, it didn't look. Fring in particular didn't look too serious. Mm. Um, and Adebayo maybe perhaps was a little bit more serious, but he's got options up there. Um, and it's, it, it doesn't matter who's up front at the minute if they're not going to create any chances for them, does it? So they've got to, there's, there's other issues that need to be they're the issues that need to be addressed. Yeah, they, they certainly need someone who can put on the shirt and score goals for them. And I tell you what, Joe Massey, he's got a shirt Look at ready. This. He's got a shirt ready. He could be the man to come on and provide the goals. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Sign shirt, yeah, absolutely overjoyed with this. It's been unbelievable four years for me, covering more so. So Darryl, that, that's made the journey worthwhile, hasn't it, really? Darryl yeah. Clark, after um, post-match today, yeah, presented me with that shirt, which will be framed and going straight on the wall. Lovely touch. Um, just wish could have gone out of a win. Last time we yeah. were here, it was four, uh, sorry, 4 4 last minute James O'Connor goal. Absolutely brilliant game of football. Um, today was a polar opposite of that. Um, but. Yeah, at least I got a shot out of it at the very least, and fingers crossed that um, they'll all it'll be up. things will go up for me. And I do believe there is a chance that just have a very good season. They are solid defensively, just they just need to get this, this, these attacking instincts to click together. And fingers crossed when they do, they'll fly out the league. Yeah, that's the joke before we uh, get going on our three and a half hour trip back uh, to the Midlands. How do you see the Saddlers coping this season? You're not going far, you're only, you're only, only, going, down the road. only going down the road, but you won't be covering them. How do you see them getting on this season? I genuinely believe they'll be all right. Um, look, I think everyone wanted a promotion push, didn't they? Mm. Um, it's Clark, it's an absolute massive overhaul. He, he's not going to get, you can't just, overnight, you can't just change things. It, yeah. like, Walsall were on a downer after last season. Relegation hurt everyone, hurt, uh, like, hurt everyone. It was it was awful. Walsall, historically, are a League One club. That's where mm. they belong. And, and when you get relegated, you expect to bounce back. It's always going to be a tough ask of how many the, over, the squad overhaul and the way it's gone. I always thought they would be in that promotion mix. I still think there's a chance they will be. Look, a 46 game long, 46 game season is a long, long, long season. Mm. Um, you can start slowly. Clark started slowly in both his game, both his seasons. He went over Bristol Rovers. It's an awful lot of football to be played. If they were conceding goals then you would be worried, but it is four yeah. clean sheets now um, at the start of the season, which is it's just very good going really. Okay, Plymouth it was a bit of a, it fell up, they did concede three there, but that game aside, they have been defensively very, very sound. There are positives there, but there's no doubt about it. They've got to stall it out going forward, because if, mm. if they don't, they're just, they're just not going to get the goals um, to get anywhere near that top seven. Any highlights covering Walsall you can remember? Oh, highlights? Um, to be honest, it's just that first season, mm. a long time ago now, but that Dean Smith, yeah, the Dean Smith season where it started with Dean Smith and that team was just absolutely phenomenal. I was talking to Adam Chambers about it the other day and he said he could, he'd walk off the pitch and players would ask them what they're doing in training and how, and how, and how they go about their business because they were just, mm. that season, absolutely phenomenal and what a season it was with Smith going, O'Driscoll coming in and John Whitney seeing it off at the end of the playoffs and that, it was absolutely incredible. Um, but so many highlights, loved working with so many people at the club. I mean, the people, the staff behind the scenes are amazing, absolutely amazing. Really, really enjoyed working with Dean Keats as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's been brilliant, I couldn't have asked for any more. It's been an absolutely fantastic for The only thing I could have asked for was a promotion that year. That still irritates me. Yeah. We didn't go up that year because I genuinely believe we were better than Burton that year. Um, but yeah, other than that, I couldn't ask for any more. It's been absolutely fantastic. So plenty of highlights, but none today. Uh, that's it from us. Uh, for all the post match reaction, make sure you stay with Express and Star.